Hey humans, Coach Nate here with today's battle plan. You know, sometimes when we're just strolling along, maybe we're uh, in the mall, at the beach, on a sidewalk in your neighborhood, maybe uh, in a park, walking your dog, wherever it is that you walk, and you see people, and you look at them and you go, man, they sure look like they got it all together. Wow, they sure look like they have a really nice life. You may even find yourself, you know, wishing that you had it as easy as they appear to be, as good as they appear to be, as nice as you imagine in your mind things to be. It was Meryl Streep that said, put blinders on those things that conspire to hold you back, especially those that are within your own mind. When we look at other people and see other people, we have no clue what's going on in their life. No earthly idea. It may look nice on the outside. They may look like they're holding it all together, but that doesn't mean that they are. In fact, they may be going through something that you couldn't possibly not only imagine going through, you may not even be able to deal with. I heard it said that if everybody took all their problems and threw them in a pile, we would be running to get our problems back. Each of us has things that we have to deal with within, within our life. I believe that we were designed, created, and capable to be able to handle those things. There are things that I am, have experienced and gone through that I've heard other people say, there's no way, I can handle it, it would kill them. I also know that there are people that I know that have gone through things that I couldn't begin to imagine what it would be like to go through. I'm thankful for what I have to endure, what I have to deal with. So it doesn't help to imagine somebody else's life and then use that or allow your mind to use that as a weapon against you to create doubt and fear and all sorts of other emotions that don't serve you. You may be surprised, I will tell you from experience, people that I've had an opportunity for them to share their story with me, not once, not a few times, but in every instance that I heard their show story, I was shocked. I was in disbelief. I, I couldn't imagine. Hey, how are you? What they how they were able to go through what it is that they went through. Handled what it is that they're handling. You would be surprised at the people that you see that look like they've got it all together, how they might be on the very edge. So when you're going through that and instead of becoming upset or wondering, wow, why is it that they have it better off Counter that with a smile. Maybe say hi. Maybe greet them. You would be surprised to know for how many people that's the best part of their day. There's this saying when you're dealing with mean people of kill them with kindness. Well, you can actually help people live with kindness as well. It works the other way too. Kindness is infectious. The way to get it is spread it. Infect the world with kindness, if you will. We could certainly use it. And that makes this a better place to live. All of us have our crosses to bear. All of us have challenges that we have to face in life, things we have to deal with. It's how we deal with them, how we go through them, that makes all the difference in the world. So be kind. You see people, say hi. Hi, people. How you doing? You don't know what they're going through. You don't know what they're dealing with. Be nice, be kind, be friendly. And above all else, you know what I'm going to say. Live your best life now.